Along with the new design of widgets and the ability to move them onto our home screens, we can also now create stacks of widgets. I'm going to move the stocks widget out to my home screen, right in the center. I have two other medium-sized widgets here for notes and calendar. We can only stack widgets that are the same size. To create a stack, I just need to drag one widget onto another. Notice the white border that appears when I hover the Notes widget over the Stocks widget. Drop and we now have a stack. The two dots to the right let me know that this is a stack containing two widgets. Let's add the medium sized calendar widget to this stack as well. Tap Done and I can now swipe through the widgets in this stack. Tap and hold and we can edit the stack. Here I can move the widget that I want to view first to the top. Turn off Smart Rotate to always retain this order. With Smart Rotate on, the iPhone can display the other widgets on top according to what time of day it is or the location you're in. Notice that I can still edit only the calendar widget from within the stack and from the edit stack screen we can also remove widgets from the stack with a swipe left on them. We're also able to add something called a smart stack. This is a stack that already includes several widgets that will automatically rotate for relevant information, much like the Smart Rotate option in the stacks that we built manually. I'm going to add a large size Smart Stack to my home screen. Tap Done and I can now swipe through all the widgets in this stack manually. Tap Edit Stack and we can reorder or remove widgets from this Smart Stack. I'm going to remove the Photos widget and move Reminders up a few slots. I like the Siri Suggestions widget. It provides buttons to the functions that you commonly use on your iPhone. Having those right here on your home screen can be really convenient. With the Large Weather widget, you won't even need to open the full weather app very often with all the details that it provides. Tap and hold here and we can edit the weather widget within the smart stack to display the weather from the current location or from one of the saved locations in the weather app. Back over on my personal iPhone, every widget that I have on the home screen is a stack except for the maps widget here. In the upper left, we have a stack with notes and battery levels. In the upper right is calendar and reminders. On the left side, I have a stack with fitness and the podcast widget. And on the bottom, with the medium-sized widgets, I have the music app widget, which shows recently played albums and playlists, technology news, and a featured image from the Photos app. Tap on this to jump into the Photos app and view that image. Stacks really increase the flexibility and options for utilizing widgets even more. So experiment with using various widgets in different sizes, building stacks and choosing different placements and arrangements for them. Whether that's only on the widget screen or on any of your other home screens, with only widgets, or maybe with a mix of widgets and standard app icons. There are a ton of different possibilities, and those possibilities will just increase as third-party apps update their widgets for iOS 14. Next up, we'll look at how to use the new App Library.